Oblacion Makati is known for its red light district, which centers around P. Burgo Street. This three block triangle area runs between Makati Avenue and Kalaya Ann along P. Burgos. We'll also take a look about a block over and a block or two up across Kalaya Ann. And that's where we're gonna start tonight. We're gonna check out about five bars right on Fermina Street. So one of these little streets, it's like a block or two over from Don Pedro where Buccaneers is. There's a lot of little bars back there. There's evolution here where this guy had too much to drink. Tonight, we partied up pretty hard at Camp Pie. Camp Pie is, I, I kind of pretty much thought it was a restaurant, but it's definitely a restaurant downstairs, party bar upstairs. And for a Wednesday night, where a couple other spots were dead, Camp Pie was pretty popping. Upstairs at Camp Pie is a pretty cozy little spot. It's not too pretentious, it's not too swank, but it's got a great disco ball and a live DJ. It's got a little bit of room to dance, which uh, is always great for Filipinos. Kampai, and if you got a good look at this guy, you definitely understand why he is the Filipino Forrest Whitaker. It's, it's an inside joke thing. Look at my bro. My bro's passed the f*** out. He had too much to drink, man. Really? And Kampa is right across the street from Agamat. It's like a very chill bar. It's an upstairs, downstairs, but they make their own liquor and they make their own liquor, I think in Indoro. And they make an ube creme liqueur and they make a caramel vodka. Like they distill their own booze. And it's a craft cocktail spot. It's pretty good. So Evolution is an interesting bar been here on a lot of occasions. It's never been like the bumping pack party spot that like Buccaneers is. I don't know why. Maybe just because it's a chill vibe bar. Like it has an inside and actually pretty nice inside couches, all that good stuff. And it's got the outside. It seems like most of the times when like, you just don't want to engage, you just don't want to work at it, you know, like just want to go somewhere, hang the fuck out, get a couple of cheap beers. Evolution's the spot we go. And then of course on the corner, Gilt. Gilt's changed a little bit. They never used to charge a cover. I think they charge a cover now. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. Look at Little Miss Beautiful saying hello. Hi, hi, hello. Welcome to Manila. Welcome to Manila. How could you? Come to Evolution. Yes. yes. How could you say no to that? Talaga. Exactly. Oh <laughs> oh. How do you look so fantastic? If I could wear white and look as good as you, yeah, I would be like the white king of the night of the week. Wow, that's, that's very there. sweet. <laughs> Mom. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? There's, there's always a little bit of action going on in Manila. Anyway, and guilt on the corner. Guilt is a lounge. I've gone in there in like a while because they started charging a cover. And I'm like, really? I'm like, let me go up, scope the scene. If it's good, <laughs> I'll pay the cover. But don't make me pay to get in and your bar sucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, although the, I'm not saying it sucks. Don't get me wrong. It's a, it's a cool lounge. It's a groovy spot. People are usually partying like crazy up there. And quite honestly, I would say seven, eight, nine times out of 10 on a weekend, you can't even get in there after 11 o'clock. Like it's packed, small place. Yeah, there's a lot going on in Puebla. And down the street, there's another new spot. I can't even remember the name. I went in for a drink or two. And what blew my mind about the spot was it was early, there were no tables. And it was like chock full of hot teenagers all right i'm a dog i'm a dog what do you want me to say want me to lie come on we're gonna hop from evolution down to lips off of p burgos because even on a slow night it's a good time taking little miss hotness to lips oh and she looked back all right baby let's go lips lips still remains one of my favorite bars in Poblacion. It's just off of P. Burgo Street, and it is a totally chill time. Here we are downstairs at Lips, where there's a pool table, they play great rock music, 
it's pretty chill but if you want a more upbeat vibe and you want a packed kind of scene then you're gonna go upstairs but the upstairs is also a go-go bar kind of vibe which can be pretty bomb a lot of guys say the hottest girls in Poblacion are at lips but we really just go there to hang with our crew get a couple of cheap bottles and uh well knock them back Coming back from Poblacion Makati to BGC in the wee hours of the morning before dawn is only about a 10 or 15 minute taxi ride. And it'll only set you back about 100 or 120 pesos, which is like two bucks. Night left here in the Philippines, it's all good. Actually, it's, it's just pretty fantastic. But I also talk about a lot of like high-end first world living here in the Philippines, like in BGC, as well as living in the barangay. So today, we're going to take a little bit more of a look at day-to-day -day life here in the fabulous Philippines. Palenque Market, during this time of day, like noon, is empty. But this market comes alive at night and in the morning. This little area next to the Palenque has like lots of little shops, like Ukai Ukai shops plant shops, um, pharmacies, generic pharmacies, homes. Bags. Oh, I love my bags. The weather in the Philippines is absolutely fantastic. Even during rainy season, the skies are blue, the sun is bright, there's no mysterious lines crisscrossing the sky, obscuring that beautiful Philippines sunshine. They look nice. You guys good? I'm just looking at your, uh, your displays. They're so nice. So colorful. Gentlemen, goodbye. And of course, wandering around again in the barangay near where my gym is. Come from the gym, found a spot, your hands are. There's so much surplus stuff there I, I just never shop in the mall there's no need to shop in the mall in the Philippines just about anything you need except for maybe like high-end electronics or something you can get uh, in a chill spot like this I'll buy a bike ooh bags you know I love my bags geisha dolls you don't see that every day some, some pretty nice, uh, I don't know what to call this, pottery? I like these uh, sake jug things. Strainer, oh, I've been looking for these. I like these spoons a lot, and the only ones I've been seeing are uh, ceramic, and I break them too easily. Sweet. Need a used helmet. <laughs> I really do like this stuff. Little sake sets and things. Get yourself a full Japanese themed set of place settings. Fishing lures, fishing rods. And that guy. What's up guys? How y'all doing? So I don't know what it is about these little surplus shops, these thrift stores basically. I just find them to be so compelling. There's just so many little things in there and so much to look at and, and surprising little knickknacks and useful things. And maybe it was because I got rid of all my stuff. When I go into a place like that, it's just all stuff. So it's really interesting to sort of like 
reflect, you know? Uh, one thing I love about the Philippines is sunshine. Even during rainy season, you get a lot of sunny days. Try to get 15 or 20 minutes of sun every day. Just ran out here on the deck. It's like a roof deck. I know, it's, it's not that glamorous, but, but it's mine. Talking a little bit more about that health, longevity, rejuvenation, how I did it here in the Philippines. Sunshine is essential. You gotta get sun on your skin. You gotta get sun in your eyes. You gotta get as much sunshine as you can every day. It's gonna help you maintain your circadian rhythm, which is vital in order for you to sleep properly. And sleep is essential for all kinds of things. Managing your cortisol, your stress hormones, your body weight, your fat burning, your muscle synthesis. Sleep is an essential part of health maintenance and for your longevity and for weight training and for everything like uh yeah even during rainy season it's nice and sunny most of the time uh the weather's beautiful a little hot a little hot but you know after going up in the northeast i am over the cold if you can't get sunshine i used to do something called blue light therapy i bought this little blue light thing and what you would do is you could use that to reset your circadian rhythm, depending on whether you're waking up too early or waking up too late, to help reprogram your body to get in that right sleep cycle. See that big tank up there? The construction. <laughs> That's where we get our water from. And every now and then, like something jacks up with it, so we gotta climb back up here, and then go up this ladder, and then jack up the tank, and, and then you go back down this little thing. See the rebar sticking out as you climb up there? Yeah, it's a real hack operation here. Jesus. It's a real Filipino right there.